What up, you two teammates here? Guys, I'm disappointed news about the new Texas Chainsaw film. For, if anybody was hoping to see this, to see the next Larface movie in theaters, got some disappointing news. According to the Hollywood Reporter, Netflix has picked up the global rights for the latest Texas Chainsaw film from Legendary Pictures. David Lee Garcia is directing the film. <laughs> Sorry about that. With Betty Alvarez on producing. Now, the original Texas Chainsaw film, of course, uh, got released in 1974 and was directed by Tom Hooper and considered one of the most influential horror movies of all time. Uh, the new movie takes place years after the shocking event of the original film, so this is actually um, a follow-up to the original Texas Chainsaw film. In a setting where uh, Lara Face hasn't been um, seen or heard from since, uh, the film seeks to pick up where Hooper and Kim Hecko film are left off, bringing the most notorious horror franchise back to life in the most same uh, bold, pro uh, proactive uh, manner that uh, it was first introduced to the world. The cast of the new one includes Elsie Fisher, Sarah Hawken, Jacob O. Latimer, and Mo um, Dunford. Netflix and Legendary previously teamed up on the Nolan Holmes, which was a pretty much a um, big hit for Netflix, and a sequel of that is in the works. I guess I can see why Netflix wants to uh, ends up um, taking this because they just had a hit with a slash of um, franchise which, which was Fair Street Films uh, so I guess they want another stab at doing another slash film uh, and I'm really disappointed that this thing is going to Netflix because we'll, it would have been cool seeing Larry Face back on the big screen I mean it's a shame that most that some interesting style horror films that's coming next year are going to streaming like uh, Pet, the new Pet Cemetery is going to Paramount Plus uh, we got the new Evil Dead film going to HBO Max. Hellraiser is going um, straight to uh, straight to Hulu, and now this. I mean, at least we still got Halloween Ends um, that's still going to come to there. So there's that. But uh, anyway, no release date has been set, but uh, hopefully it'll still do good. I mean, I do quite like the Texas Chainsaw films. They are some of the coolest horror films there is. Of course, the original film is one of the most iconic and controversial horror film ever made. I mean, Leatherface. Is one of the most is one of the coolest villains of all time. I mean, he literally uses people's faces as face as a mask, you know. So yeah, but I'm still looking forward to checking this one out. Hopefully, it'll be decent. Uh, anyway, let me leave you guys. What are your thoughts on the new Texas Chainsaw film going straight to Netflix? Are were you hoping to see this one in theaters? Are you still gonna watch it when it premieres on Netflix? And were you ever a fan of Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Amy Time.